Hey everybody, this is Poster2. I'm just uh, showing you what I'll be working with. This is a 6.0 that I got for 300 bucks. Now, this 6.0 had been through a fire, so it's got all kinds of soot and ash and all kinds of crap on it. However, it turned over just fine, still turns over just fine. I've not had any issues with that, so I don't, I'm not afraid of this, uh, this engine at all. It is, it should be in good shape. What we're gonna do, I uh, talked with my son this morning, what we're going to do, I uh, decided that we will, um, uh, I'm going to keep this block, but he's going to use it for the meantime to get his, uh, to get his car up and running, uh, or his truck, I'm sorry, his, his Sonoma. So uh, what we're going to do is take it apart, clean it up, give it a, give it a spritz, shall we say, uh, a dingle ball hone, and we're going to let it, uh, let it ride. And, uh, um, that isn't, if, if, as long as I don't find anything nasty in it, and I really don't expect anything, um, anything that we need to use, um, off of his old engine, we will like sensors and stuff like that. They'll bolt right in. But in the meantime, I'm going to, uh, I'll clean it up. Um, like I said, inspect it, make sure that it's okay. And then, um, I'll give it the dingle ball and, and, uh, uh, let that happen. I'm not expecting any problems out of it. I don't know the mileage on it. I actually don't even know what year this is. Um, so I got to figure that out too. Anyways, um, just thought I'd mention this stuff to you and we will see how it goes. Um, I don't want to bore you to death with taking another LS apart. Um, I don't think it's going to be it, well, it won't be any different than the other one, except I'm not expecting, expecting any damage with it. So, um, you'll, uh, if I find anything or whatever, you know, anything interesting, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll add it on with this video, but don't expect a whole bunch with it. I think it's, uh, pretty much a foregone conclusion that, uh, we're just going to work through it. So anyways, um, here we go. Well, I got most of this block turned, torn down and no surprises. It's, it's in really good shape. I mean, really good shape uh anyways something i wanted to show you guys just just something a little funny was uh <laughs> yeah that's how well that thing spins the bearings are are perfect i mean they're they're great shape journals are i think it stand a little bit of polishing but uh they're not bad at all and the um I w i'm gonna assume that the uh that the uh, uh, mains are are just the same. There's no issue there. Anyways, it's uh, it just needs to be cleaned up really well and regasketed, and I think it's going to be in good shape. We got all the pistons out, obviously. Anyways, <laughs> and a big old mess on the floor. That's what happens. Anyways, this is uh, why do I keep saying anyways? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'll, I'm going to take these out anyways. I'm going to take the, uh, see, set it again. Uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the mains out and, um, make sure that they're okay. But as easy as that thing spins, I mean, I had, I had six pistons out. I'm sorry. I had two pistons out, one and two, and I tried and I could spin it with my hand with the pistons, with six pistons. And I'm thinking I could have done it with, um, with all eight in there, but, uh, not sure. I didn't, I didn't try it. So anyways. Just kind of cool. Uh, the board's look in pretty good shape. Uh, they do need to be dingle balled. I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna, I'm I'm probably gonna go with the bearings that are in here already. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be an issue, but I'll probably need to put new rings in it. Um, some of the rings are stuck in the in the ring lands. So usually when they're stuck like they are, when you're trying to get them out, they'll bust. And uh, um, so I can just get some standard bore. Um, um, uh, piston rings, uh, take the old ones out, clean those up, uh, clean up the, the pistons themselves, and uh, it should be in uh, pretty good shape. Uh, checking out the skirts on the pistons, you can see where there's, you know, where there's, there's a light spot on there, and that's not unusual because there's, um, you know, on the sides. Right, let me go over and show you. So, there's the light spot on the sides, but... You, I don't know if you can hear that. There's still, there's still the, um, uh, they're like oil, oil retention things. This, this helps, helps if I keep on the target. <laughs> um, so they, when they cut these, uh, when they machine these, they are, uh, they keep a little bit of grooves in there. And what that does is it helps retain oil on those skirts and, uh, um, keeps them lubricated. 
uh, or helps to keep them lubricated. When I'm looking at these guys like this, this is really dirty and nasty up here. Not a problem, but uh, but these guys. Yep, you can still hear it right there. I mean, it's not an issue. There is, uh, there's, um, that's on all eight of the, uh, the pistons. There's no scratching or scoring on the sides. Um, those, uh, those cylinder heads are doity. Uh, the, the push rods had the same, or most of them, about half of them had the same problem as the, uh, the ones in the 5.3. So I'm going to have to get new ones of those. And, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead. You can even see it right, right there in the in the lifter. You can see how it's fish-eyed lifter. What was I saying? In the uh, rocker arm, you can see how it's fish-eyed there and there. Yeah, those were worn. Those are worn out. So I need to get new ones. I think um, I think I can get uh, rebuilt ones actually on um, uh, I don't know uh, eBay or Amazon someplace, and uh, which have which also come with the uh, the improved trunnion on them so that they're uh, um, these these will only rock so far so when you um, uh, when you go to a bigger camshaft there's an issue with it and it won't it won't rock so you gotta there's two things about it one these guys wear out and uh, uh, and when they do they tend to dump all their little needle bearings all over the place so there's upgraded ones that you can get them from Brian Tooley Racing or uh, comp cams or you know there's a there, uh, even somewhat has them um, but uh, a different uh, a different setup so that it uh, well there's two different kinds you can get them with the improved captured needle bearings or you can also get it with just uh, with a bushing and either one works really well um, but uh, you can get them already installed and that's where I was going with that uh, replacement push rods shouldn't be an issue so I'm gonna need uh, just standard push rods a set of those rockers New rings. I'm going to go with the old uh, old uh, uh, bearings on that. Um, the camshaft. I need to clean it and inspect it, but it doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to get when I get the regasket kit. It'll have new valve seals. I'll uh, I'll go through all the valve or I'll clean up the the heads completely. I'm I'm thinking about doing a light. Uh, uh, port job on it just to clean them up a little bit. Those are three seventeen heads. They which have uh, I. I think they are two inch intake and 155 on uh, on the uh, exhaust, which are decent. 317s aren't aren't the best on the market, but uh, or best uh, stock ones, but they are uh, they're decent. They're decent heads and they'll work just fine for what my son needs. And if we're going to use the stock cam, there's no sense in doing anything stupid, you know. Um, later on with this guy, I do um, thinking about getting LS3 heads for it, or at least something along that lines uh, with the big square ports, so I can uh, uh, so I can do fun things with it. Yeah, oil pan looks fun. Uh, there was a little bit of water in the bottom, but uh, I didn't worry about that too much. It didn't look like the oil was was bad. That could have that could have come from anything or maybe maybe that's wd-40 that i i had been squirting in the bores anyways um so overall i'm pretty happy with it and i think uh i think we're gonna go forward uh, my son's gonna start ordering stuff tonight and uh, that's where it's gonna be so anyways that's where i'm gonna leave you guys uh, i hope that you're having a great evening everybody's uh, well and uh, uh doing fine so enjoy yourselves and uh until next time be well